I want to thank God for my brother Piper. Um, I, I, I'm grateful for him and how the Lord has used him. But um, I want you also to feel comfortable thinking outside of his explanation. Don't feel like you're disrespecting him. Don't feel like you're um, that you have to sort of subject yourself to his understanding because of his influence or his reach and how God has used him. A lot of times we sort of are intimidated by that and we get afraid to disagree because we start to think this guy knows Greek and Hebrew and God uses him mightily. Surely he's right in all things. And, and none of us are right in all things. None of us are above um, really scripture reading us. So that's what we should do. Let scripture read us. Let, the, let God's word speak to us instead of reading into it. So, uh, and I say that respectfully to my brother. Um, and obviously do the same thing with Brian Wolfmuller. You know what I'm saying? Um, so be a good student. But important to say and to conclude with is if you are Baptist in your thinking about these matters and you only refer to a Baptist commentary of the Bible, you only refer to Baptist scholarship and theological doctrines and information. You only pull from your library Baptist books. Guess what you're going to get? A Baptist answer. So what you should do is study more broadly. And that's what I'm hoping to contribute to this conversation is ways in which the church has thought about this before the Baptist denomination was even thought of. For 1600 years and counting, the church never thought of baptism as a symbol. So we're on the other side of history. So take that in, feel that, let that humble you, and let that cause you to say, man, um, if the Baptist contribution to this topic is the newest one, it's the most novel one, well, let me see how the Holy Spirit has taught the church throughout the ages, because he's the teacher. He's the one who cares more about his church than any of us. So what has he been communicating that unanimously the church has agreed on and it's hard to get christians to agree on one thing but when we find something that all of us have agreed on for 1600 years plus we should say man it's something to that and that's what we're saying here about baptism it was never seen as a symbol feel that absorb that and think outside of your echo chamber and uh, let the holy spirit speak to you